such games. Once upon a time, in a kingdom far away, a single drop of sunlight fell from the heavens. From this small drop of sun grew a magic flower. It was said that this flower had the power to heal the sick and the injured. And when the queen, who was to have a baby, became very ill, she drank a broth made from this flower and was healed. baby girl, a princess, was born with beautiful golden hair that also held the magical power. But someone wanted that magic for herself, a vengeful old woman named Mother Gothel. She stole the princess and locked her away in a hidden tower deep in the forest, where she raised the child as her own. The healing power of the child's hair had restored Gothel's youth and beauty. But inside, Mother Gothel remained possessive and cruel. So she told Rapunzel the outside world was a dangerous place, filled with horrible, selfish people. But even the walls of a tower could not contain the hopeful spirit of a princess. Each year on her birthday, the king and queen released thousands of lanterns into the night sky in the hope that one day their lost princess would return. Rapunzel watched and wondered about the floating lights from her tower window and longed to venture into the outside world to see them up close. Then one day, she met someone quite unexpected, someone who could help her realize her dream. And she quickly hit him on the head with a frying pan. Ow! After all, Rapunzel was a bit new at this adventure business. Yeah, Blondie, I don't remember much after the part where you knocked me out with a frying pan. Well, that's what this journal is for. I'll draw everything we see in here so I can remember and think about it later. Okay, fine. So what happened next? After you came in the window, we made a deal. Right. You hid my satchel and said that if I wanted it back, I had to take you to see the lanterns. Well, I had asked Mother, but she said I was never to leave the tower. And Pascal thought I could trust you, so I took a chance. <gasps> oh, this is so amazing! It's better than I ever imagined! How the light hits the trees, the smell of the breeze going by, <gasps> the feel of cold water running over my toes. And so, are we going, Blondie? Thank you. 
I can't believe I did this! I can't believe I did this! I can't believe I did this! I am a horrible daughter. I'm going back. I am never going back! Oh, I'm a despicable human being. Amazing out here. You know, I can't help but notice you seem a little at war with yourself here. Oh, what a sweet little thing. Can't go over it, gotta go through it. Another one of these? When will they learn? Hang on there, Blondie. I'll take care of this. Looks like we'll have to get through here. I'll go to the other side. <laughs> Who keeps putting this stuff in the middle of the path? I'll 
teach you a lesson. They're here somewhere. Something's in the way. Come here, take my hand. Hang on there, Blondie. I'll take care of this. Ooh, I see a sweet... I can get across. Stop everything. I smell something shiny. Hang on there, Blondie. I'll take care of this.
Uh oh, something's in the way. I think I can get across here. I love this color. I really love it. Only one way past this, straight through. I have an idea. Go stand on that log. I feel so guilty about leaving the tower, yet I'd already seen such amazing things. Still, some things have been scary. <laughs> Not that. Yes, the skunks were a little frightening, but I sketched them anyway. See, this journal is coming in very handy, but still I'm worried. Mother warned me that the outside world is filled with ruffians and thugs. Oh, so it's probably best if we avoid ruffians and thugs, then. I agree. Luckily, you... Who, me? Yes, you, Flynn Rider, suggested a great place to have lunch. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I did that. <clears throat> the Snuggly Duckling sounds like a really cute place. And I do like ducklings. Oh. Well, come on, let's go in. Ah, the snuggly duckling. Don't worry, very quaint place, perfect for you. <laughs> it is? Absolutely. Don't want you scaring and giving up on this whole endeavor now, do we? Don't say a word! Do not order anything! I'm sorry. I just can't take it. But I wasn't... I'm not the real innkeeper. I don't know how to do this! I'll hurt somebody by accident. I already made some guy a sandwich out of soap. Don't worry. We'll help you. You will? Thanks! Just go upstairs and wake my brother up.
Ah, there he is. Handsome devil. Look at him, drooling away on his pillow. Excuse me, Mr. Innkeeper. Sir, please wake up. It's time to rise and shine. It's not working. Wow, he is really out of it. We're gonna have to make a lot of noise. What? What is that racket? Oh, look. <laughs> Time for work. Hey, you two. Thanks for waking me up. I mean, who doesn't enjoy being woke up early to go to work, right? <laughs> <laughs> So talk to Vladimir. Please. Since you put it that way, no. If you can get the innkeeper to make me a mashed radish drink, I'll consider it. Hello again. Would you happen to know anything about a mashed radish drink? Hmm. Sounds familiar. Why don't you help me move some barrels down in the cellar? I think we've got some down there. Axel! How am I to project an aura of confident innkeeping authority when you keep undercutting me like that? I'm sorry. Okay, I need you two to help me get those barrels down. I'd do it myself, but I'm terrified of high places. Plus, I'm pretty sure there are spiders up there. <laughs> I know I'm going to like this. Good job, Blondie. Well, good job, 
Blondie. <laughs> I'm really good at this. your help with the barrels and you even found the mashed radish i can't do much but that drink i can make Mom used to make. Okay, you can talk to Vladimir now. Greetings, you must be. <laughs> Flynn Rider. No, pretty sure I'm Flynn Rider. <clears throat> not, not like it couldn't be. Oh, oh no. Oh yes. Now I will collect the reward and buy a new battle axe. Hold the royal guards! Please don't turn him in. Isn't there anything we can do? Well, they did get me my favorite drink. Hmm. Well, everybody is much happier here since you showed up. Thanks. I was talking to her. Tell you what, I collect rare ceramic unicorns. If you can help me find one, I can show you how to get past the guards. Oh, unicorns are very cute. Come on, Flynn, let's go! <laughs> Excuse me, have you seen any pretty unicorns about? I got a unicorn, and I'd even give it to you, except... So I buried the key and hid the treasure chest. Uh, only, uh... I hit it so good. I hit it so good now I can't remember where it was. If you find it, whatever's inside is yours. We got it! Come on, 
Everyone, let's go find the treasure chest. <laughs> One cute and fragile unicorn for one big and ugly thug. Look how pretty it is! Oh, Vladimir's just going to love this! So exquisite. Note the tiny spirals on the horn and the intricately carved tendrils in the mane. Such a pretty horse. Oh, what a beautiful unicorn. Okay, I like you now. Oh, thank you. Someone told me you're a very good painter. Good thing, too. I have an unfinished painting of a unicorn I need help with. If you finish this painting for me, I'll make sure the innkeeper helps you. I'd be happy to try. Let's see. What color should the unicorn be? Yellow. Use yellow paint. It's my favorite color. Ooh, I'll bring that with me. Well, it's pretty good, I guess. Yellow. Use yellow paint. It's my favorite color. Color. This is an amazing piece of artwork. Thank you. Remember, when you want to leave, talk to the innkeeper. He'll show you the way. Be a dog and go check on Goat Boy, would you? He's been a little depressed. Probably just needs some basic human kindness. And you're just the person to cheer him up. Try looking outside. Goat boy's out there somewhere. Thank you. 
Ah, go away, leave me alone. Oh, Milton is my pride and joy. But he'll never get faster than a horse without training. You just gotta help him. Can't you see? Milton's too good for this pigsty. Oh, but it's all I can give him. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't cry. Of course we'll help you. You did it! You beat the record! Oh, thank you so much! Now my Milton really is a champion!
great job with the race. That sure made Goat Boy happy. You know, you've been such a doll. How about helping out a bit more, Rapunzel? Absolutely. What can we do? Well, I can't seem to get that old piano to work. Hmm, interesting. Probably because old Hook Hand here keeps playing it. No, I think it's missing the piano crank. <laughs> we might have lost it when we moved it. <laughs> Maybe you could look outside and find it for me. I see something here, something I can climb. I can get across. there, Blondie. I'll take care of this. Hang on there, Blondie. I'll take care of this. You just stay right where you are. I can get up there. Somewhere. Ah, this will be easy. Hold on a minute. Ah, this will be easy. Hold on a minute. Stay right where you are. I can get up there. Over here! 
I'll help you up. I think I can get across here. Aha! There it is. Now that we got music, do you think you could get these guys to dance? Then I'll show you the way out, I promise. Sure, that sounds like fun. Just a bit more. Bravo! Bravo! I've never seen so many people dancing in this place. <laughs> wow. Thanks again. I've unlocked the trap door. <laughs> Behind the counter. <laughs> Come on, through here, quick. This'll take you to the thieves' highway. You can lose them in the caves. Go! I probably should have warned them about the giant hairy cave spiders. Ah, well. Keeper said this was the Thieves' Highway, didn't he? Oh, I was hoping to avoid ruffians and thugs, and now we're in a dark secret passage used by ruffians and thugs from the entire kingdom. Never say I don't take you nice places, Blondie. Well, 
I can see now that those men from the Snuggly Duckling aren't really scary villains, like Mother said. They have dreams, just like me. Yes, but the Royal Guards are breathing down our necks right now, and trust me, they are scary. And these men, they're pretty scary too. Right, and that horse, Maximus. Aw, oh, he's not scary, he's just misunderstood. Gee, we have a lot to deal with. Maybe we should get through these caverns quickly. filled with people who want to hurt us? No, just the really special ones. Thank you, I think. case of the heebie-jeebies. Stash things like pack rats. I'm getting the treasure feeling. Oh, 
Okay, that went smoothly. Teamwork. I brought you along for a reason. I think I see someone! <laughs> Escape the caves 
in the Thieves' Highway, and then we got trapped at a dead end. There was no way out, and the water was rushing in. Lucky for me, I'm traveling with a girl who has magical glowing hair. Whew. Well, we're safe. And we found such a nice little spot to camp for the night. After a day like today, I can't even imagine what tomorrow will bring. <gasps> oh, yeah! My birthday! Oh, come on. Your friend, maybe. He's a bad horse. Bad horse. Oh, he's nothing but a big sweetheart. As soon as I explain that today is kind of the biggest day of my life, and that I need Max to not get you arrested, and that it's my birthday, everything was just fine. But then the Royal Guards showed up. They must have followed us. Luckily, somebody else followed us, too. Uh, Flynn? Are all adventures usually this strange? No, Blondie. I'm starting to think it's got something to do with you. Just gotta make it to the forest up ahead. Maximus, faster! We've got to outrun them and get to the castle bridge. Giddy up, Milton! Don't let them catch us! Milton and Maximus flew down that hill. And just when we finally lost those guards, we saw it. <gasps> the kingdom. We were actually here. My heart was going a mile a minute. Is this where the lanterns come from, Flynn? Oh, 
I am so close to my dream. And I'm so close to getting cut. You have no idea how nervous, mm, I mean dangerous, how dangerous this is for me. Oh, I've got some idea. Hey, listen, I was the one who got you here, remember? I know, and I'm very grateful. It's just, we still have lots to see and do before the lanterns. Yeah, number one on my list, don't get captured. Here we are. This is the castle, home to the king and queen, and the seat of power for the entire kingdom. Oh my. <clears throat> oh my? That's it? You've crawled through a forest, nearly drowned, fought off half the king's army, and all you can say is, oh my? Mm-hmm. Huh. I guess it does kind of leave you speechless, doesn't it? My friend and I are here for the festival tonight. Wonderful! And where are your lanterns? Oh, we don't have them yet. Well, there are many lantern vendors about, though the finest of them all is Hamid. I encourage you to visit him, and then return here when you have your lantern assembled. All right. Thank you. Oh, and I just wanted to say, I am super excited about this. Come on, Blondie. I see something here, something I can climb. I hear them. I hear the coins. They're here somewhere. Understatement, but yeah.
get across? Are these your candles? Did you make them? I did, young miss. Oh, they're all so pretty. And, oh, oh, I smell cinnamon and pine and cloves. You have a very good nose. Yes, my candles are used for the lanterns, and I'm known far and wide for the best variety. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> I'll take one. Hey! Stop! Thief! I can't afford to lose a candle! Don't worry! We'll catch him! Oh, do we really have to? Yes! Come on! With my luck, I probably know the guy. I'm the fastest thief in the kingdom! I'll get that. One little whip of the hair. This will be easy. Hold on a minute. Thank you so much. Tell you what, you can have your pick of whichever candle you'd like. Well, thank you. Glad we could help. This is such a pretty color. That's it. That's all I need. I want to like the lantern! I love 
fluff your hair. When I grow up, I want long hair just like yours. Are you here for the Lantern Festival? We are, but we don't have a lantern yet. Why not? Oh, I think we need a frame. Hey, we can make you a lantern frame. And it'd be a lot more fun than this boring mime show. Wait, I know. We'll have a race. And if you win, we'll make your lantern frame. Sure, that sounds like fun. Almost finished. Mr. Hamid? <sighs> it is my old sign. People see that it is gray and ugly. They think my silk must be the same. Oh, I love to paint. Let me fix it for you. That would be wonderful. What a magical young woman you are. Believe me, you have no idea. If at all possible, my dear wife loves the color pink very much. If you have any paint of that color, please use it on my sign. Like your new sign, Mr. Hamid? Oh, you used the pink. That is quite stunning. Yes, yes, this will attract lots of attention. 
Thank you, my dear. Now that you have helped me, I should like to return the favor. Please, take your pick from these silks and use them for your lantern tonight. Thank you, Mr. Hamid. Well, that's very kind of you. across.
leave this to me. Monsters mostly. Kidding. Blondie, they look very dangerous. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to him. What's on your mind? Oh, you just have to help us. We're practicing to be royal ladies in waiting. The ones who help the queen do her hair every day. And we saw that you have, you have a lot of hair. Can we braid it? Please? Pretty please? Please, can we? With sugar on top? Well, I'd love for you to. Yay! Your hair looks amazing. Splendiferous! Incredunculous! Oh, girls, it's perfect. Thank you. Hey, our lanterns. I'll never forget that night. Meaning... Then I gave you back your satchel. I should have given it to you before, but I was just scared. And the thing is, I wasn't scared anymore. And you understood. Yeah, I did. But I had to go. I didn't understand that. We were having such a wonderful time. Then you left. I know, but there was something I had to take care of, and then I was going to come right back. Mother Gothel found me, and it seemed like she'd been right all along. I couldn't believe it. You took the crown, got a boat, and sailed away from me. Mother said the only place I could be safe was with her. I thought she was right, that I'd never see you again. What was the point of this silly journal anyway? Why would I want to remember? Now hold on just a minute. That's not the whole story. They tricked us both. I never took a boat. I was double-crossed and thrown in jail. Oh, come on. Duh. I'm not half the artist she is. Max saw the whole thing. He knew you were in danger and he went to get help. The thugs helped me escape and thanks to Max, I came to help you. Hold on, Blondie. We're on our way. When I got back to my room, I looked at my paintings. They had new meaning now. Visiting the kingdom changed everything. Finally, I understood. The lanterns that appear only on my birthday? I'm the lost princess. Mother Gothel kidnapped me so she could use my hair. And she'd do anything to keep me with her. And this is where I come in.
You cannot keep me here forever, Mother. Oh, but I absolutely can, my little flower. Think how easy it was for me to find you and persuade you to return from your little jaunt to town. It doesn't matter. You'll never trick me again. I used to think you knew everything. But now I know you were wrong about the world, and you were wrong about me, and you will never use my hair again. You want me to be the bad guy? <laughs> Fine. Now I'm the bad guy. away with the scoundrel? Yes! Rapunzel, look out! <laughs> Silly girl. Oh, I am disappointed. <laughs> Nicely done! Yay! Together, you're stronger than I thought. Can you imagine finding out your mother and father are the queen and king? I'm still getting used to the idea. And I'm still kind of nervous. But they love me, and they've missed me so much. My parents just decreed a new festival, and now the whole village is celebrating. <sighs> Ooh, yay, Flynn Rider! Oh, and Rapunzel, too! <laughs> What's that? Confetti. From where? I had some left over in my pockets. Flynn! Let's take a ride around the village to celebrate before we decide what to do next. Well, I was thinking, live happily ever after. That sounds all right, but only after I beat you in a race. Oh, my God. 
sense!